We're going to let cutscenes rock. The 9th of November, 1888. By my deeds am I known, and I am known as Jack. spring Jack. Jack the Ripper. By my deeds am I known, and they are truly bloody. I took them all to my heart. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly. And loved them, truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the sordid confines of their bodies, the still beating organ of the soul, was not to be found. The ritual of the knife was to no avail. I am bereft, and must therefore perform that bloody ritual upon myself. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? My name is Legion, for we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within the souls, but only within certain ones, certain dark souls. My God! What are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pain. A place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. And at the heart of asylum, we shall construct a great dark engine powered by souls of equal hue. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil, in the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond, in the place known as Deadside. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail, for we are many. For we are many! <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah, the, the, the rat was killing me too. That's so funny. Um, I think maybe the, like, the main theme music is on OC Remix, but I mean the the song that was playing during the intro, that's Beethoven? Magneta. I had a dream, Shadow Man. A real bad dream. A dead side dream. The five are here. The heralds of the apocalypse. Deacon's file confirms everything I feared. The end's common, Shadow Man. An ancient prophecy tells of the return of a great evil to dead side. A terrible force gathering dark souls to its darker heart and using their power to cross over into this world and bring about. I must stop this evil from bringing about the end of all things. Only you can do it, Shadow Man. You are the walker between the worlds. I can't go dead side, and Jaunt is next to useless in both worlds. You are the only one who can do anything about this. As it ever was. But you ain't never confronted anything like this evil. It's so pure, not even the ancient protectors of the Dark Souls could destroy it. They could only banish it from dead side. They knew it'd come back one day. Hence the prophecy telling of its return. The power of the ancients is all but gone now. And the dark souls that evil desires lie unprotected. What you gotta do, Shadow Man, is to go dead side and recover the dark souls. Take them into your own protection before evil gathers them to its terrible heart. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I don't recover these dark souls, then the world's gonna end. Am I right? You got it. Shit. Look, I gotta go. I've got a lot to do. Take Deacon's file and meet me at dawn at the church on the hill. I've kept your stuff safe for you. <laughs> I hate this shit. Just a pawn in Nettie's master plan. 
She moves me in mysterious ways. And brother, sometimes she really does move and me. Brother. Can't do nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I got nothing left anyways. It's my fault Luke's dead, and mom and pop too. I deserve everything I get. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live, can't die. Dead side's the perfect hood for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of cutscenes early on. But yeah, the, the movement of uh, it was always like super weird in the cutscenes. I don't know why. Too. It's like very normal outside of them. Alright, so I'm gonna be collecting as many of those as I can along the way. Uh, when you collect a hundred of them, you can go to this one zone and get like an extra health bar. Uh, over on the right, you can see I have I start with five. So yeah, one really nice thing is the the weapon wheel. Um, in the original version, you have to like paw like basically pause you go into your inventory and you equip weapons that's the only way you can do it also having you know dual joysticks lets you you know strafe and and all that and it's nice I don't remember. I don't think so. Jumping's faster than walking. So be ready for the speedrun strats. So normally, when I would play this, that scared us, huh? this kid. Um, I would get, you know, I'd go find Nettie and talk to her, and then immediately go to Dead Side. That's like where the game starts. But I'll probably do a little bit of exploring here first. So I think there's a few things I can get that'll help. Because again, we're playing this on like a hard mode, so I'm not sure what it's gonna be like. Yeah, yeah, Fab. That's a. I feel like that's a pretty common one. You get like lost in those caves, and you just end up drowning. Oh wait, before you found her, how is that even possible? <laughs> She's literally straight ahead. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh yeah, the other uh, the other tip I always give people when they're playing on N64 is first thing you do go into options and um, change the bright like jack up the brightness. Um, in the remaster, I think it's it's like the, the stock brightness is okay, but on on console, like yeah, just go in there and turn it up because some stuff is gets really hard to see. Yeah, I think that's probably what happened is you, you just went straight ahead and found her. And then you went exploring. And you went over here. And you like, you know, you jumped down there and were swimming around and got lost. Nettie? Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the signs. You got my stuff? Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? 
because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army would bring to the earth? That's apocalypse, Shadow Man. That's the end. Okay, okay. So I really got to get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that. But where do I find them? In Govi. Each Govi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the Dark Soul within. Believe me, I've tried. But a Shadow Man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the Dark Soul and take it into yourself. But be warned, the Dark Souls are a pure and ancient evil and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? Right here. Jesus, Luke! He's alive! Alive and in pain! I gotta help him! He's dead, Mike. You know that! I know, but I saw! It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connecting you to dead side. Use it now, Mike. Go dead side and find Jaunty. He's waiting for you at the Merrow Gates. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike? Yeah? If you need me, I'll be here. Now. Go see Jaunty and get them dark souls. Damn, Dad, she even told you. Go dead side. Yeah, I mean, just like the detail on the go, like all the, these markings and things, like those aren't, you can't see that on 64. But it was in the, like, the, you know, concept Mike, drawings. Go dead side. So they made sure to include it. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree, man. I just really like this, like these graphics, like this style, and and uh, you know, like pixel art, like 16-bit Super Nintendo stuff. I just really like it. All right, so we have a gun now. Um, how do I? Okay. So there's. So in the like this, all the story, all the the lore. I mean, you really, they, they give you a ton of stuff if you, like, want to get super into it. Like, here are, like, the five, those five, five of those faces that popped up when she was dreaming. They're, like, these serial killers. It had, tells, like, their story. Like, they all have backstories and they're all crazy. Eesh. One of them's Jack the Ripper. But yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I feel like it's not even close. I mean this it like this is a comic book series. So it's not like this is, you know, original to the console or anything like that. They're gonna start attacking me now. Oh, dude, the dogs are totally gonna kill me because I. What button am I supposed to use to target? Okay. I'm wasting my time here. No, we're not. No, we're staying here. <laughs> this is the kind of gameplay we get. We gotta practice. Oh, jeez. I know there's like some other like movement we can do, like a quick turn. Um, uh, what is it? 
Okay. Is there a way to roll without turning around? Okay. There we go. That's roll. But that's the quick turn. Yeah, since the, the enemies are so much uh, stronger. Go dead side like Nettie suggested. Shut up. At least it's safer in this mode, place. you like actually have to uh, try when you're like fighting stuff. This is where Thab died. Whoops. He drowned. Yeah, like it's so I'm much easier to, quick. to see underwater. Um here, but uh, on console, it's pretty bad unless you, uh, again, like, really turn up the brightness. I need air and quick. He's, like, really terrible at holding his breath. I need air and quick. <laughs> uh, swimming in this game? Not bad at all. I think there's only one way out of here. Maybe not. God, where's the damn surface? Look, those were monster dogs, okay? Didn't you see that one clip? Monster dogs. I'm wasting my time here. I should I? just use okay. Luke's bear and go dead side. Look, man. Just let me do what I want to do. Oh! I really had to get all the way there. Yeah, it's like in a uh, ocarina when you hear the skulltellas like chittering in the background. You can hear the Gobi have little heartbeats. All right, is that one we were looking for? Also, no fall damage. Always good. No one likes fall damage. It's not fun. Mm. I ought to go dead side like Nettie suggested. Leastways, it's safer in this place. So all these barrels, they respawn. So I'll be able to just get them again later. These alligators will mess me up. But they're slow. Oh, except for the alligators in the water. I'm about to get... Um... I need air and quick. Come on, we can do it. Oh, I thought they're... No! <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah, that scared me. I am the Lord of Deadside. Shadow born at the confluence of worlds to walk between. Man, I thought I could Life get the shotgun. Life side without the meaning that my partly living possesses here to go in dead side, where the darkness is manifest at the edges of reason. 
As a god, I step forth upon the writhing, separating surface of the dead side serpent. Separating. What sleep is here? SAT word of the what day. What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake's mortal shuffling. Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow at the end of all things. The horror, the horror, I embrace it. So, huge upgrade. Um, wait a second. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, big upgrade to the original is the sound that the gun makes. It's so loud in the original. So this is pretty clutch. We called these guys Arnold because they made a noise that sounded like they were saying Arnold. No, no, no. So there's like a little mini cinematic. Um, as you enter every zone, and we hadn't been here yet, uh, so it it played the cinematic. Now, for the most part, every time you die, you just sent back to the last place you visited, like the beginning of the zone. But uh, when you die in that area of live side, you're just uh, teleported to dead side, to right here. Up with the dilly dally and Michael, and get yourself over here. Hello there, Michael. Who's that treating you? Jody, kindly refer to me as Shadow Man. Michael the Wall has no place here in dead side. Whatever, Mick. It's good to see you again. Seems like simply ages since I last set me eyes on your happy smiling mug. The feeling's mutual. I suppose you've been away dallying with the old battle axe, giving her one with some of that righteous voodoo so she can stay forever young? Something like that. She's been filling your head with her fated pillow talk again, I'll bet. Doomsday in an army giddy until you're drunk with the stuff. She did happen to mention a certain prophetic dream she's been having. Did she now? Well, for once I think the owl witch might be right. See that bloody big black tower yonder? How could I miss it? Well, old Bruegel, the medieval painter blokey, was just telling me the other day that he thought it looked remarkably like a picture he once did. Is that Peter Bruegel? No, Seamus. It's this an Irish cousin. Anyways, he was quite shocked, so he was, at the terrible mess that bloody thing's making. Appearing out of nowhere and tearing its way through the place like there's no tomorrow. Which, given what Nettie's saying, might not be too far from the truth. Any idea what's going on in there? Nope, and I shan't be knocking on the front door to find out, neither. All I'd say is, if there's something wicked heading this way, it'll be coming from in there. Nettie mentioned the Dark Souls. Can you tell me any more about them? I'm afraid I'll have to reply in the negative again, Michael. Suffice it to say, Nettie's told me that they're bloody powerful, well nigh indestructible, and shouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Any idea where they might be? What am I, a Dark Soul travel guide now? I suppose you could try all of the ancient sacred places down amongst the whalers and shiverers. I just hope that none of them souls have ended up in that filthy big black tower. From what Nettie was saying, some of them already have, which is all the more reason for me to be pushing on. Open the gates, Jaunty. Places to go, people to see, eh, Michael? Just open the gates, Jaunty. Did I ever tell you about the time me and Attila the Hun were playing skittles with the guillotine heads of the French aristocracy? Jaunty. All right, all right, keep your bloody hair on. Which, looking at your shining bonds, may prove to be rather difficult. Open sesame! Yeah, Jerry. And if you be wanting to pop by and chat a while, I, I'll still be here. It's just a shame we can't share a drop of the hard stuff together by a roaring peat fire. It is I a roaring peat fire. With snakes. Yeah, I, I, I actually feel like... I, I thought there was a patch note a while ago where they nerfed the fire sound because it was really loud. I guess not. Wait a second. I thought they're not supposed to give me health. Maybe it's in New Game Plus? 
Huh. I thought they weren't supposed to give me health. This is the dead side. The wasteland. The nothing beyond the bone. Uh, this is the last cutscene for a bit. Here Luke, my dear lost brother, wanders alone amidst the aimless ranks of those who cannot die. He still, with the ache for death, I too may discover within my blighted heart. Here, the true darkness at the heart of all things is made real. What we see in death's dominion is as void as a dead man's gaze. As cold as the light from a dying star. Intense. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. So, I, I am correct. You don't get health from killing enemies, but those specific enemies, their attack is to steal health from you. So if they have stolen health from you, and then you kill them, you get it back. Or you get some of it back. Michael, back so soon. Getting a bit too sp Shut up. You know, no, the cutscenes are really good. Um, as far as, yeah, like, setting that, like, the atmosphere and everything, like, I think they're definitely important for, like, getting the full experience. They're just pretty heavy early on. Okay. Oh, come on, really? No, let me get it. Oh, of course. Shadow Man for Remix? Yeah, man. Dude, these flying guys already, they're brutal. Guess I really shouldn't be. See, it sounded like you said Arnold. Well, some of these have cat nose, so I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! I avoid that. See, the thing is, whenever you teleport out of an area, um, all the enemies respawn. So, you really want to, like, clear out a zone as much as you can and get as uh, get as much out of it as you can yes I saw that pathway over there I just don't remember which way I'm supposed to go so fun fact uh, Shadow Man and Turok exist in the same comic book universe and actually team up at some point That's the game we need. Yeah, it's it's great. There's a ton down here for me. Oh, 
Except maybe these. Maybe a few. Yeah, there are people in like the the Discord that have I think have already successfully done uh, no death runs of this difficulty. Which just sounds crazy. I think this This is where I came from. Yeah. Turok 1 is pretty good, uh, 2 is so much better. Uh, actually, this same studio, Night Dive, did remasters of Turok 1 and 2. It's not as like crazy of a remaster as this. It's mostly just, you know, like updating visuals and, and that kind of stuff. I don't think they didn't like add content. Um, but if you want to experience Turok 1 and 2, I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, right, Josh? It's so good. Oh, crap. See, now I want to know what was back the other way. Because I don't remember. Yeah, Josh, look at this movement. Also, weapon switching. Without going into the inventory. How about that? Yeah, it's it's really good. Moving with two joysticks is so nice. Like, yeah, I'm really used to the one, like the N64 controller, but this is it, it's objectively better, of course. Oh crap. Oh, what? I'm behind. Yeah. Uh, again, the studio is Night Dive. Um, and I'm pretty sure they did Turok 1 and 2. I don't know about three, but uh, they're good games. Turok 2 is a really good game. Um, you should definitely, I would definitely check out the remasters. It's not free, you know, like emulating an N64 game, but it's a better, it's a better experience, especially the first one. The first one, like, you know, for the time was really good. Uh, but playing it now, it, it really does feel uh, dated. As far as like the the visuals and every like you know the fog that that's like the thing everyone remembers is like your view distance is just killed. But they just don't have that, you know, in the remaster. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Oh, dude, the gun sounded so much better than the original. For how much it, it gets spammed. Alright, cannot roll in the water. I guess, I, I guess I'm kind of used to it. Not loud enough. 
I probably have... Oh no, I have... I have, I have sound up all the way. Music I've turned down. It's so loud in the original, though. I don't know, I think this is a, a, a welcome change. Right. Some might say it was too loud. That was a very common complaint. Oh, that's a bad spot to be. Oh, what? Sounds too dinky. You need you need something in between. I think actually there might. I feel like there's an option somewhere to use the old gun sound. It might be on like the title screen. All right. I think there's a problem with my no with my controller where the. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Or the other uh, shoot button, like it's stuck. I remember that happening when I played last year. I think it's a controller issue. Yeah, I mean this, uh, you know, this game it has kind of those action like RPG elements to it where you know you pass a lot of things like metroidvanias right where you, you pass a lot of things that you can't access until later until you like get the right equipment or upgrades or whatever like those those little doors we passed that had the uh, you know the little fireballs Oh. Yeah, I mean, even things like these pedestals aren't in the original game. I hate when they use Xbox controls for the display because I, I never use an Xbox controller. <laughs> so that just opened up a little shortcut for us. So we don't have to like do all that running around next time. All right, we're back there in a sec. Now that we have that. Again, we want to like do as much exploring as we can without warping so we don't respawn all the enemies. I forget though. So in the, in the original game, um, as you get stronger, the enemies like stay the same strength. So when you come back to like old zones, you just like wreck everything. I don't know if they do that in this difficulty. I, I think the enemies might get stronger as you get stronger, and there might be more of them. So it's like still backtracking is a little tough. Does he get a melee weapon? No. 
actually does not. Uh, you have your you have your shadow gun, which is what I have right now. It doesn't have any ammo, you know, unlimited. And then you get these voodoo weapons that use a different resource. They're like fire. And then you do have get some like actual like gun guns um, that you're mainly using in live side. And then there's this other gun that you get you can use on in dead side. Um, called the Violator. See, there it is. It's usually when I go to jump. When I would do, like, these big jumps, it would, uh, like, pull out my gun and start shooting for some reason. Alright, I think we, I think we kind of covered everything. Oh, come on, dude. Controlled. Alright, we can get out of here. I think that was it. Yeah, like those, we'll be able to get in those later. Yeah, the main thing we want from this zone before we leave are all those red things, those caddos. So we can upgrade our health as soon as possible. So for those following along with the map, if you exclamation mark, exclamation mark map, we are now at, so we started in the like top center where it says Marrow Gates. And we're now at the little gateway that says zero. I am the Lord of Dead Side. All right. The prophecy. Looks like someone left me a note. So this is the prophecy. These are the, the crazy demon army soldiers that they're trying to put Dark Souls into. Sisters of Blood. There's Legion, who apparently has a third eye. And it's showing the that the five, the serial killers, were all implanted with Dark Souls somehow. There's Nettie. She dreams about them and apparently doesn't have any clothes. So it's basically just saying what's going to happen in the game. Ah, see, he confronted the five, but during the day, he fell. Legion took the power of the Dark Souls unto him. The end. And then these are the voodoo weapons. Does it have the new one in here? Book of Shadows is actually uh, the cheat codes that you discover in the game. Ah, uh, here's the new weapon, Tete Mort. And here's the map. Look at that. Screenshot that. That's a lot nicer than the one, uh... The one I linked to. This looks so much cleaner. Uh, do I have to, like, activate that command? Mm, I ought to go visit Nettie. That's annoying. Hmm.
All right, I added map SM for map Shadow Man. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how to turn on a command. So the, all the, those Govi, um, oh my god. We actually can open them up when we have our shadow powers. So like now, we can get this one. All right, Nara, I'll see you. This should be useful. It's our dark soul. And now I can charge because we see we have one meter now. Uh, I can't push that or it'll hurt me. So we have one shadow meter, which also gives us one voodoo meter. We don't have a voodoo weapon yet, but... Go here. Oh, we need two. We can't even go there yet. So we will definitely go there later. Unsalvaged souls that drift beyond the marrow gates for an eternity of waiting. This infinite limbo, this wasteland, this untamed unnatural afterbirth I command with my endless darkness. What ineffable secrets are whispered within the paths of shadow? What red edge realities rising bleak above the blasted skyline? Deadwing, duppy, zombie mother. This voodoo lord outlasts them all. Got some health. No flying guys? Oh, come on. Sneak attack. I bet these, those fish are going to tear us up. Stop moving. We don't have to worry about our breath now because we're in dead side. So we're like immortal. Well, at least immortal when it comes to breathing underwater. Dude, all this stuff is so hard to see on console. This is great. Charge noise is kind of loud. <laughs> no! 
No! I rolled forward. Damn. <laughs> and disappeared into the ground. There's a couple like speedrun strats in here where you skip some stuff. Oh wait, I have to get that first. One, you can actually like make this jump here and then like skip a whole bunch of stuff. Be like there, hold up the freaking gun. When I went for a big jump, and I don't know why. We don't worry about it. Someone wants to give me a new dual shock. <laughs> Welcome to. Oh, come on. Joke. I got it. Oh wait, the the rope is in a different spot. Look at that. We got thirty four. Now they're, now they're here. Those guys are so annoying in the original. Uh, they're a lot harder to like lock onto. So let's see, there's another speedrun skip we can do. Um, I'm pretty sure the one I was attempting still works in the remaster. I don't think they got rid of it. It's like kind of a, a big speed running thing. So I feel like they would leave it. And it's not like a game breaking skip or anything. It just lets you get a little bit ahead on Dark Souls. But one of the other skips, I don't think I can, I don't think you can do it anymore. So there used to be a barrel here and you would get on the barrel and then jump on top of that. And that would let you get up, up there and like kind of out of bounds, and skip over some stuff. But I think they they might have gotten rid of that. Uh, basically, what that lets you do is get the baton early, which is a weapon. Dude, what? Oh yeah, those things. Those are new. Sometimes there are just these freaking worms on the ground. Uh, we can save. Let's save, because I'm going to attempt a jump. This jump is totally makeable. It is makeable. Try it a couple times. You also can just go around. Yeah. Dark souls are mine. And do we want that now? Can I reach that from here? <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Waste of time. Unbelievable. We're getting it though.
Oh, it's like right on the corner. Alright, we got it. <laughs> Worth. Unbelievable. the worms <laughs> Look at those shadows oh man no Yeah, all right, the worms are definitely going to be annoying. Which sound, Josh? Wow, wow. Oh, the lava death, yeah. <laughs> Very crucial sound. Alright, and here's the thing that everybody misses, including myself, the first time they play through. Like, everybody misses this. This is path right here. No one ever sees it, because you're walking up, and it just looks like a pattern in the wall, and then you just, you just go right past it. And afterwards, you're even up here, and you get a good look at it. But, like, no one notices it. And it's important because that's how you get to the, the Temple of Life. So we're going to go that way just so we get the warp. And... This was also, it's always a little annoying because it says that the Temple of Light, like it's on the map, but it, it's not descriptive at all. So you kind of just have to like figure it out. Oh yeah, you can definitely, hold on. There's like peaking. This is just actual like movement. But I think you can like, you can peek behind ledges and stuff. Um, I don't know how though. I need the instruction book. There's just nothing. Wow, didn't even want to troll me with a cat hat. Alright, we don't need to go this way right now. We will 
go that way later. Got it. Yeah, these little the little altars are a nice touch. I like the shadows. No, 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 no. There's like a rope we have to activate. It's this way. Charging up my big one meter. Could go exploring in here, um, but I don't think we can actually get anywhere yet. So we'll do that later. Holy hell! Let's get what we came for. <laughs> I forgot that that's a speed run thing. Is you you drop down to activate that. And you just die. I wanted my my one cat out. <laughs> That's brutal. I don't think there are six of them down there though, normally. We'll go back to the Temple of Life later. Uh, Got to get a few things. To power of the Dark Souls, I embrace it. This is another entrance. This is like the back door uh, to the Temple of Life, where we just got the warp. Where the hell did you come from? He just backflip dodged <laughs> on my attack. Oh, dude. Other one shooting double? Oh, I rolled right into that. He back from Dodger too. Dude, these fire temples are gonna be tough. Yeah, see, like we can't do anything with that yet. Thunder. 
unbelievable. Oh no, I'm about to just get annihilated. All right, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. And see, here we are. Like, I don't want to war back because then all the enemies are alive again. So we actually have to run back. into the floor. Luckily when we die everything doesn't respawn. So we're, we're chilling. Like we got one of those guys. And the worms. And yeah, enemy, enemies respawning on teleport, that's like a normal mechanic in the game. It just usually doesn't matter that much. I made that jump across the lava. That little tunnel is how you get it without doing that. Things are not cool. No, no, I just need to kill one of them. Oh. So close. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I mean, it's still not the best platforming, but it's decent. Just getting a ledge grab is pretty huge. Alright, so we... Yeah, we're so close. Yo, Silent, what's up? I'm doing okay. I'm playing this game, so I'm pretty good. Finally getting around to playing it. Highly recommend. How you doing? They really like light up that entrance too. It's like, hey, don't miss it. But everyone misses it. Chinese food? Hell yeah. Uh, last month, I watched a ton of Seinfeld, and I just like really wanted Chinese food after that. Um, but Baltimore is not like New York. There aren't just like a million good Chinese takeout places. Plenty of good Indian takeout, Thai. There's not a lot of Chinese. supposed to do this. I don't know if the, is that in the original? I don't know if you have to do that right here. I think I could have made that jump. Oh, 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 oh. Unbelievable. Dude, their melee attacks are no joke. Yeah, just come to Rockville. Yeah, I know. DC area, very good Chinese food. There is a Chinese takeout place very close to me. There's a couple. I have I just haven't checked them out because it just hasn't really been a thing here, really. But I should check them out. One of them has been there like forever, and I, I don't know if it, I don't, it's probably not very good. Um, but then there's another one that seems to be pretty highly rated, um, right near Hopkins campus, like on campus. People in the Discord were saying that these, there's like little, these little enemies were really tough on uh, the horror. 
I think like just the dodging and the, the double shot attack. The people that run are beaten. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It, you know, as long as they can make the food, who cares? How many burger places, you know, do you see run by Hispanic people? Like, it doesn't matter. Got my free firehouse subs today. It was all Indian people. The dishes aren't Chinese any Yeah, that's fair. Like the traditional like American Chinese food dishes. Yeah. Like some guys here that just blow me off. Yup. I see you. Uh, yeah, they're totally gonna light me up. Alright. What? Dude, that's like shit. One hit kill. That was. I mean, Cantonese is China. Oh man, there was a really good Vietnamese restaurant in Rockville back in the day. It's too bad, I don't think you really got to experience Taste of Saigon, Jared, but holy crap. Black pepper scallops. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, there's a Thai restaurant across the street for me. So that's nice. And it's good, which helps. Alright. Gotta go. Gotta go hunting on the lower level first. is on the upper level. Oh yeah, there he is. Yo, quit dodging me. We're good now. Oh, you did have it a couple. Of I wasn't sure. It was kind of like before your time. Twenty fourteen. Wow, I thought it closed a lot earlier than that. I think the last time I got it was like 2008, maybe 2007. Yeah, so uh, this is, I said baton, I meant this. This is the weapon we could have gotten really early. This should be useful. Oh no, I didn't mean baton. Alright, so now we have a fire weapon, which is huge. So, 
in a normal playthrough, you might not use the fire weapon as much because if you kill an enemy with it, you don't get any health from them when they die. But we don't get health anyway. So it doesn't matter. This, this weapon sucks anyway. The baton is awesome. And the, uh... Whatever the, the, the drumstick is called. It's really good. Marteau. Alright, and this is another back door to the Temple of Life. Which we can't access yet, because we can't walk on top. Can't do that. Alright, well, we couldn't open that gate anyway. Damn. So we are chilling. I actually. Alright, you know, we're gonna try that one uh, speedrun shortcut. And then we'll piece out of here. Oh wait, we can't, can't do that. Oh wait, yeah. Alright. We'll try this a few times. We get it. We get it. We might. I don't think they took this out. Feels so close. All this would let, me, let us do is get a little bit ahead of where we're supposed to be on Dark Souls, but oh well. We'll just come here when we're supposed to. We get a bunch of suckers. So quiet. <laughs> I love that emote. Like the shaking effect is so good. Oh, I guess this counts as a new zone. So we can't open that door yet. Can't open that door yet. It wants us to go to the asylum. 